Last week on the season. We've got to continue to work and put those guys in positions to be successful and then ultimately uh, we'll, we'll live or die based on how we produce. I have been deployed to the Middle East four combat tours and three tours that were non-combat. Braxton and McKinley, please direct your attention to the video board for a special message from your dad. I'm sorry, I'm not going to be able to come home Saturday, but we got something special planned for y'all tonight here at the ball game, so I hope this makes up for me not being able to come home Braxton and McKinley, arriving back But at the end of the day, Ole Miss ends a four-game losing streak, and they do it at home to keep themselves alive. We, we still got a lot to play for, so we just got to take it um, one day at a time, man, a game by game. Coming home and playing the three games in a row, we were excited about being able to get that opportunity. And, and as uh, you know, the Kentucky and Florida game didn't turn out exactly how we had hoped. I thought we really fought hard in the second half against Kentucky. And then the whole game against Florida, the effort was there. Uh, it just didn't work out. And Florida's a good team, number one team in the country. So it was uh, it was a battle till the end. They made a few more plays than we did. And then uh, Alabama came in, we played well Wednesday night, and we're able to find a, a way to win that one and get back on it on the winning side, um, and then to have to go on the road, that you know, that's hard, it's always hard. And then to go in, having to go to Arkansas, a place where we've had a lot of success, which is a good thing, yet they've won five of their last six, I believe, and, uh, and really playing well with a lot of momentum. I know they'll be ready to play. For us, you know, it was about getting there. Uh, anytime you go play on the road, getting there, getting situated, uh, going to shoot in the arena, getting a feel for the arena, especially for the new guys that have never been there before and, uh, you know, continuing to put the game plan together. When you take a look at this one, Ole Miss has won nine of the last ten meetings with Arkansas, including the last six in a row. But, Damian, uh, the Rebels are up against it tonight. The Hogs are on a white-hot roll. They've won seven of eight, and it's senior night, no less, here in Fayetteville. And the SEC tournament is right around the corner. Um, you know, we came out, we were fighting, we are kind of neck and neck. I think they were up 16-10, then we make a run to go up 17-16. They call a timeout, and uh, they hit one of their first threes against the zone. We kind of had them baffled by our zone. They substituted, and they had a kid come in that uh, hadn't shot it great. He's a good shooter, very good shooter, uh, but hadn't shot it great in SEC play, and he hit one. And uh, then he hit another one, and that kind of got him going, and he hit two more. And then uh, after that, that crowd really got into it. And basketball's a momentum game. And uh, when you're playing with that kind of energy, and, and then when you start playing with a lead, uh, that rim gets bigger. A couple ball fakes. Gully with the right hand puts it in. Good defense. Here's Clark. It's a race to the other end. Pass Henderson. Follow. Summers, the crossover, that was nice. Count it, and a foul, a late whistle. Saiz gets the basket and will step up to the line. Losses are always hard. Whether you've won 10 in a row and you lose one, whether you've lost four in a row and you lose the next one, they're all hard and we, you know, as coaches, we take them harder than players, but I think our guys went into the game with momentum. And, uh, you know, that first half, you could see it, and uh, they made a run. And I just thought our team, we didn't respond. We didn't, we didn't respond and get back in the game and, and push. You know, you take a beating like that, people handle it differently. You know, some people think it's the end of the world. Some people say, hey, you got to give them the credit, let's move on. And uh, as coaches, you try to have a happy medium in between there, you know. It's got to hurt, you know. If, you don't, if that doesn't hurt to get beat like that, to get pretty much embarrassed, uh, then, you know, I don't know that we would want you on our team. But at the same time, you play again in a few days, you have to put that behind you. You have to get back to work. You have to watch the video and, and, or the film and correct the mistakes that happened, and then, uh, then it's over. You got to move on.
just everything. Just, you know what I'm saying? Marsh is Marsh. <laughs> Craziest dude I've ever seen. Marshall. <laughs> Marshall's a lot of fun. You know, most people ask, this is actually a pretty common question. People ask, you know, what's Marshall like? Off the court, he's a little, he's a little more toned down than he is on the court. He, get, he gets a reputation for the things he does on the court, but at the same time off the court, uh, you know, he's pretty chill, pretty laid back. He's still loud, um, but, you know, he's fun to be around. Marshall, he's a cool guy. Um, he's real goofy. Um, just, you know what I'm saying, I like to play around. He, he has some jokes. <laughs> He has some jokes. For real, nigga. Yeah. This is real life. Did you get that on camera? Yeah. yeah. Well, when I'm dancing, I hear a nice little beat. I just kind of like to, hey, hey. Sounds like this could be an intro song. I don't know this song, but it jams. Some gospel for sure. That Fresh Prince. At some point during the SEC tournament, I'd been assigned the task of making sure Marshall didn't get in trouble uh, with any in-game or post-game activities and ultimately after we won, you know, my first, the first thought in my mind is, you know, pure excitement that we just won SEC championship. My second thought is seeing Marshall popping his jersey in front of Commissioner Slive over there on the first row and I'm like, oh no, here we go. And, uh, and so ultimately I was trying to chase him down and just tell him, hey, be smart, don't do anything stupid. And, uh, and he got kind of tired of me chasing him down. Rebound, Buckner digs it out of there. It was a long rebound. Hitters the left wing for three, yes! Oh my goodness, that's like a layup. Rebels up three. Uh, first road game in the SEC was at Tennessee and I was super amped because my first SEC game. Well, this Ole Miss team certainly has one of the names you probably haven't heard of yet, but one of the best shooters in the country. If you look at our one-on-one -on -one brought to you by Shelter Insurance. It is our pleasure to introduce you to Marshall Henderson. We played really well that game, set off the tone really nice for the rest of the SEC. It seemed like the, you noticed the crowd, they're yapping at you. Uh, how did you like the environment? What's your response to this? I love it. You know, that, that's, what, that's what makes me go. You know, people, the big crowd coming in, yelling at me. You know, that, that's, I feed off that. That's really dumb for them to do that to me. All right, we'll see if the uh, rest of the SEC will take note of that. Well, we started the run uh, in the SEC last year and winning games selling out the tad pad. That was definitely a uh, time of basketball that anyone surrounded with the Ole Miss team uh, will never forget. It's been really exciting. I'm really proud of him. I mean, I've watched him play since before I can remember. I've always gone to his basketball games and he's matured on and off the court. And I think it's just been really exciting to watch unfold right in front of me. The Marshall Henderson, sh the shot against the uh, Vanderbilt last year, that's where I get really excited every time. Henderson! Go! Oh my! From 35 feet, we're tied at 78. That shot was in range. It was like right here. Ooh! Ooh! Probably my favorite is probably at Auburn. I've never, I've never seen a student section be so hard on a kid, and, and they were, they were riding him and saying everything they could say. And for us to win the game the way we won it, and for him to make the shots, the free throws to win it, and uh, to be able to go back at those students was, it was, it was you know, kind of got him going. I think they kind of got his year going. That's why you gotta like players like, like Reggie Miller. Guys can talk and they can back it up. You can't get mad at them. Off to Sullivan, two seconds. That'll do it, and Ole Miss survives another one. They go to 6 0 for the first time in the history of Rebel basketball. He's bounced around quite a bit. But, um, yes. Marsh yeah. Anderson. <laughs> that one kid in the crowd's going to be so proud that he got a horn That's, in his mouth. It's okay. such a great shot, isn't it? It's just so many things that jump out at you. The old man who just stands up, I've had enough of this, I'm going to stand up now, yes. You know, I think he puts everybody at ease. And just to go on the road with him and see the abuse that he takes from everybody else, and he takes that with a grain of salt. And does he uh, show some emotion at times? Sure, who wouldn't? But to sit there and take it like he does is, is an amazing thing to me, and then to be able to come out and play. And I, and I think he takes all that pressure off our guys when he goes out there and, and is able to take it, and they see how he's handled. I think he sets a good example that way. My all-time favorite moment hasn't happened yet. It was my senior night. Because it means made it. 
um, you know, all the way through. And it's just kind of weird to think about that. Never thought it would come to an end, but here it is. And I don't really know how to explain it because we always, growing up, like when we would just play in the house and stuff, we'd be like, Marshall, you know, Henderson and stuff. And um, just watching like the fans do it for him is crazy. Cause I'm like, that's just my brother. <laughs> Williams, three-pointer comes out. Buckner kept it alive to Henderson. Got it! Uh-oh. Don't start chopping yet. There's still some ball to be played. Brad, that's liking, loving, whatever. That's who he is. Well, you know, Marshall's going to be one of the best players to play here. His leadership with our team and with our guys, they feed off it. They feed off his energy, his emotion. Uh, when he plays well, you know, our team plays well. Marshall's been a tremendous asset to our basketball program. Uh, not only all, all the things that you guys and everybody sees with the big shots and, and winning all the games, but just what he does behind the scenes in our locker room. When Marshall got here, the locker room, just the energy in the locker room itself before practice, before games, uh, just during downtime, he, he amps it up 110% uh, with his energy and with his passion for the game, with his passion for people, with his passion for being a great teammate. You know, he's hit a lot of big shots for us. Uh, you know, I don't know if there's, there's, a there's not necessarily a specific shot that I can think of or anything like that, but um, you know, one thing that I think is overlooked with Marshall is uh, how much he cares for his teammates. Most people wouldn't know it, but uh, you know, a lot of these guys on their backgrounds on their phones and stuff like that, they have, you know, pictures of them on the website or, you know, things like that. And, um, you know, Marshall's picture on his background is actually him helping one of his teammates up. And that's kind of a, an aspect that most people don't see in Marshall, but that he does care a lot about his teammates, and he is a good teammate. I just want to thank everyone for coming out, supporting us. These two years I've been here have meant a lot to me. It's uh, been a, an incredible ride. The season we had last year, the season we're currently having now, ups and downs, the unexpected turns of everything. And uh, I just want to thank everyone that has been there uh, from the get-go and supporting us all the way till the end. Right now we're headed to uh, my buddy Steven's house to get painted up to go watch these Rebels win this game. Me and Steven became friends uh, when I first got here. I'm from Atlanta, and I didn't really know anybody when I got here. Uh, he was one of the first guys I met, and ever since then, we've just hung out all the time. Hello. Hey. Hello. We on the way. All right. Yeah, we'll be there in a few minutes. Just got on six. You know, it being the last game of the year, it, it, it comes with this good and this bad, you know, where I'm, I'm happy for Marshall, you know, it's he's, He's been waiting a long time for this, you know, senior day, time for the game for like him, you know, to get the respect he deserves to, you know, go out as a winner and everything. But it is also sad, but you got to know, you know, SEC tournaments next week, and then we will be in some sort of postseason. Here's the good stuff. Here's what we do. We got my red, my blue, my white. The girl right here that makes it happen. This is Paige. This is Laurel, she paints my face every game. Yeah, it's game time. Let's go. Let's do it. With our team, we've been better at home, obviously. You know, we 
you know, we struggled on the road. I just think with our guys at home, we have a little bit more confidence, guys play better. We knew it was going to be a tough game. Um, just from playing them there, it's always hard to beat somebody a second time, no matter who it is. Uh, and then we knew that they'd played every game tough since then. Uh, I think they went on to win four in a row after we beat them and had won, you know, whatever, six out of 11 after that. So uh, we knew it was going to be a tough challenge. And uh, we knew no matter how many people they dressed out, they were going to bring and give everything they had. in the home white, Vandy in the black, and we are playing in the SEC. We didn't come out and play well early. I thought we played hard. You know, sometimes you can play hard and not play smart. You know, we, I thought we played hard, but we didn't play smart. We lost a couple of shooters. We lost Odom, and our game plan was to, you know, to belly up with him and not let him get any shots, and the first play of the game, we lost him. Look for Coach Kevin Stallings to try to get Rod Odom going early in this basketball game. There he is off of the screen. Good call, coach. First shot of the day is a triple for Odom. Cornette gets his second bucket, and Andy Kennedy takes a quick timeout with his team trailing by seven. The Rebels force a turnover off the full court look for the first time. Kevin Stallings thought it went the other way. The Rebels, they have settled down and gotten back in sync since the timeout. Outside the arc, the Commodores are now four out of six. And this is their biggest lead at nine. Henderson back in, and that was the first bucket for him on the day. And the first three. How about Jarvis Summers? That's the prettiest play as you're going to see. Crowd back in it here at the Tad Pad. Nice pass. That to me is where Marshall Henderson has really elevated his game. Turnover, here he goes. <laughs> Love the hesitation by Henderson. These fans here at the Tad Pad excited for Marshall Henderson on his senior night. 11-0 is the Rebel run. As they've taken their first lead of the afternoon. Vanderbilt on its last nine possessions. Didn't have a thing. And Cornett got him a badly needed basket. We took the lead. And, uh, and, and right before halftime, you know, they spaced it out again. And, you know, with our team, we, we've been like that. We got to get it to where we, you know, can maintain that level of, uh, uh, especially on defense. Lock down to five. Perez couldn't get it to go. Marshall Henderson was seven on senior day. Ole Miss trails Bandy by five. But halftime, you always talk to your team about, you know, forgetting about the first half. It's 0-0, zero, zero. we're going to go out and play, it's 0-0. Zero, zero. They came out and got a dunk right away on the first play. Uh, we went down, didn't score, they came back, hit another shot. And next thing we know, we're down 10. Andy calls a timeout, we get in the huddle, and we figure some things out, and we make a run at it.
they tried to set a lob play. Oh my gosh. The walk on inbound to Watkins. I would definitely foul here. Cornette over to Watkins. And that'll do it. In his final appearance before the home fans. Marshall Henderson gets by on a little help from his friends. Really, I'm appreciative of the crowd, you know, for a team that's fallen on some hard times. It's a beautiful afternoon. Uh, spring is in the air, and I'm really appreciative of the fans who came out, and that's a direct correlation to their appreciation for Marshall and what he's done for us, and it was appropriate for him on senior day. Uh, you know, I think I always say this, and I believe it's true. You know, we're all caught up in the moment of this game right now, but in a week, two days, three days, we, we won't even remember what happened. You are ultimately what your numbers say you are. And Marshall's put up some, some staggering numbers, numbers that will be hard to touch as it relates to his ability to score in a prolific manner. He has had a, a, a tremendous impact on our program. That cannot be lost. Uh, he's been certainly entertaining. And again, I want to take this moment to, to thank the fans who came out and supported him today. Thanks, thank guys. you.